Right, it's another beautiful day on 24 Hours TV. My name is Alum Newman, and I'm here with one of uh, the beautiful ladies you can see at Tema Community 25. We are going to have a conversation on relationship, business, and uh, how Ghana is going. Let me greet her so we set the ball rolling. How are you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm fine, Kra. What's your name? Benedicta Charity. Benedicta, that's powerful. Where do you come from? Ada. Oh, Ada. You be Ada baby, eh? Yes, please. I'm Ada baby. I see. That's powerful. Uh, how long have you been in Ada? Oh, okay. Mm, I, I may say uh, one year. Okay. Okay. You, you, you stay at Ada for one year? Yeah, and I stay with my auntie at Keta. Oh, okay. Okay. So you know Keta, you know Ada. Okay. So when you were at, at Ada, when you were at Ada, what were some of the things you, you liked about Ada? Okay. It's only their food. Their food is good? Yes, because me, I like food. Oh, okay. So their food is good to me, the way we, oh. they prepare their food and all this. And their character. Okay. How is their character like? Okay. Good. Mm. Mm. What do you have to say about the Ada town? Uh, what do you have to say? What have you seen? What can you say about the whole town and the people's behavior? Okay, Ada, I may say though that place there, the way ladies live their life there is no good at all. Why they chill? They like chilling. They like chilling a lot, but they will not grow. Then they give birth. Small, small, small girls. They are carrying baby three, two, three. Uh -huh, those things. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what Is I... Is the town boys that are getting them pregnant or the strangers, the visitors? The town boys. Oh, why are the town boys doing that? Oh, okay. Maybe they like them, you see. They want to do everything. And other ladies too, they are beautiful, eh? Okay, they are beautiful. I mean, you can see me. So that's how we are in the... Oh, okay. oh, that's powerful. I see other ladies, you, they have their back and front, yeah, everything. everything. We have back, full package, you get total. So, okay. That's powerful. Okay, so they have beautiful places in Adan. Mm, we have some. Okay, okay like Sege, uh, Okumangbe. That place is nice. Do they have any festival in Adan? Yes. That they celebrate? Yes, please. That's What's the festival and how do they celebrate? Okay, that's the Asafotsu. They just do it like traditional, this thing. Mm. Is it every year? Yes, please. Are you in a relationship? For now. <laughs> Are you in a relationship? No, please. <laughs> okay, what happened? Okay. Okay, let's start this way. Were you in love before? Yes, please. Which year was that? 2022. Okay. Where, how did you meet this guy and what happened? I met him on uh, some program B. In uh, Keta. What that program was that? Uh, Hogba Chucho okay. Festival. Mm. He, I saw him. He said he liked me. Mm. From that place we talk about some small things. Mm. And then you accepted? Yes, please. Okay. So that same day you guys went home? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. the next day. Mm. You went home? Yes, please. Did he touch you? Yes, please, he touched me. Meaning that the love he has for you was deep. It's deep, Papa. I mean, that time I think I'm chopping proper love, but I don't know that. It's a fake one. Oh, wow, you thought you were enjoying it. Yes. Wow. I see. So, how long did the relationship last? Okay, one year. Okay, after one year, what happened? And then, uh, you guys, are you guys still together or something? No, please. Why? Uh, I told him that I got a job at uh, Accra, so I want to go and do it so that when I need something, I can be providing those things for myself. But he said he don't like the work, so I should stay in the house. Oh, you don't like the work you got? Yes. And the thing is, he said... What work like is that? Uh, some editing uh, uh, provision store. I will be selling oh, okay. Okay, as a sale girl. So yeah. And that one, it keeps you at one place. At least that one is cool, right? Yes, but... But he's, he's not cool with it? Yes, please. He said Why? He said he don't like it at all, so I should stay in the house. When I need something, he will provide it for me. 
But, but can he provide? No, please. Why? Mm, the kind of the work that he's doing, that work. It's not enough. He's not bringing enough money. Uh -huh. Yes, that's why I said I want to do. I want to look for a job for myself, but he said no. Support the whole. Yes, but he said no. But in the relationship, have you been supporting him or something? Yes, please. What have you been doing for to help him? Okay, at times when my mom or my dad send me money, and I see that we don't have food in the house, I will use that money to go to market and provide those uh, uh, cooking utensils, okay, for him or for us. Mm -hmm. And at times, I will go to market and do shopping. For you were chilling, oh. What are some of the things you used to buy for him? I buy boxer, easy wear, trouser, and his top. Oh my God, I wish I get a woman who will treat me like that. Okay. <laughs> That's powerful. Okay, so he said he's not uh, in it. He's not cool with you going to work. And so what happened again? Oh, okay. I, told, I discussed the thing with my mom. My mom said I should go. So after that, he said, okay, when I go then, it means we are no more dating again. Oh, so when you go for the work, you guys are no more dating again? Please. You're still watching 24 Hours TV. We're going for a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue. So you're still watching 24 Hours TV. So that's how your relationship ended. Did it break your heart? <laughs> yes. Did you really love this guy? I love him. So you were planning some things in your head that, oh, I and this guy will do these things together and then these things happen. Mm. Okay. When you were dating him, did you try cheating? No, please. So, did he ever cheated on you and told you before? No, please. But the way he has been beating me and all those things. Oh, he beats you. Yes, please. And you're still there. Yes. I th that's what I told you first. That I think I'm dating something or I'm doing something proper. That's, that's... Okay, so you thought you were dating, uh, you were having a relationship that will help you. But then you realize that it wasn't good. Who wants to beat a beautiful lady like this? I see. Are you a lady that has the mentality of dating three guys, two guys? No, please. You are a one-man lady? Yes, please. So ladies who date two guys, three guys, what do you think about them? Mm, okay. What do I think about them? Are they doing it so they can get money or what? And some people, they are doing it for money. Okay. But some, they are just doing it for fans. And maybe they think the way they are dating plenty guys, they are the most beautiful girls in this world. Mm. Whilst it's the bad things that they are doing. Because okay. mm, me, my, I know something that, or my mom told me something that when you are a lady, you're supposed to stay in one place. Okay. Yeah. So apart from that, what advice did your mother give you? Okay, my mom she normally advised me that when I'm dating somebody, when I want my relationship to continue well, I supposed to have good life. And let's say when I do something bad, and the guy got angry, Dawn, I I supposed to wake up early and plead him that oh what I did is not good and all. Those things will help you to continue your relationship or to enjoy your relationship. That's powerful. So dating four or three guys is not fun, right? It's not fun. You are What's your advice to those ladies? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I can say, or I may say, those things, when you're doing it, you will not get anything from me. So they better stop doing those things. As a lady, you're supposed to sit in one place. Okay. Do you have friends that try to do that or who are doing that? Mm. And you try to advise them? No, I don't have any friend like that, but it's only this girl, Benedicta. I normally advise her that those things is not good, so you shouldn't do it. Oh, okay. mm. She was talking to you about it? She want to try? Yes, please. Me, myself, I'm watching her the way she's receiving. You're trying to influence her? Yeah. But I talk to her, so. So she taking your advice? Yes, please. That's beautiful. You're a very good friend. God bless you and give you a very beautiful, handsome, handsome man. Mm. I pray that God will bless you and give you a very cool man. 
Hey. But for a man to beat a woman, I don't think it's a cool thing. Oh, guys, what do you think? Do you do things that makes uh, him angry? You do things that get him angry? No, please. So what are some of the things that you think may happen and then he want to touch you? Mm, at first, the time that we started dating, Abi, I've been singing in church. So every Saturday, I go to rehearsals. But because I'm dating him, he said I shouldn't go to church again. I should sit in the house. But me too, I said no. I'm supposed to go to church. So when I go to rehearsal, I go to church and I don't come back early. Immediately I come back to the house, no problem. And you started beating me. Is he a jealous type? Yes, please. Okay, he's a jealous type, right? 